right, so welcome back to the episode number six of Making Sounds with the Minilog XD. And on this one, we are going to do a couple leads. So you can download for free the patches that we will create right here. Go to the links at the description and you will find it there. Now, so if you like all of this, please like and subscribe. And remember, if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee, you can just go to the links at the description. Right, so let's break it down. First, we need to take care of the oscillators and then we're going to take care of the, everything else. So on the oscillator one, I will go all the way up, oscillator two, all the way up. And right here on the one and two, we are just going to use a triangle waveform. Just going to go over there. But this one is going to be all the way up in pitch. And this one, instead of going all the way up, we're going to go one octave below. And everything else is just going to stay the same. The ring, no ring, no sync, shape all the way down and the cross modulation all the way down. Now, it's going to sound pretty dull if I pre play something. It's like super dull, but we need to go to the multi-engine and make it better. So right here, we're going to go to the waveforms and we need to find the one that says sign four. Now, this one is still you know, just like the other ones, just like the, uh, you know, the triangle uh, it's good. It's going to be pretty dull, but we can use the shape just to, you know, just to make it a little bit better. And as soon as I go up on the shape, we can feel here, you know that aggressiveness so this is what i want and i'm going to stay around like 45 percent close to the 50 percent right now the multi-engine by default is on eight foot so you know we don't need to detune it it's gonna is there already now let's go to the filters i'm gonna i want a little bit of uh, you know grit so i'm gonna go to the 50 percent the key track for now i'm gonna keep it all the way down and we are gonna be doing some cutoff so i guess we are gonna be around the 60 percent maybe around right there and we are gonna be doing a lot of resonance yeah i know we will find the sweet spot but first we we need to do a lot of other things and it already sounds good right now we need to shape it a little bit better i'm going to do a little bit of attack on the amp eg and then i'm going to go all the way up on the sustain and i'm going to do a little bit of release now if i play it now it already sounds like a lead Right? Now creating leads is pretty simple. You just need to set your oscillators, whatever is that, you know, whatever is that you want to do on this, and then maybe add some modulation and then depends on the lead. Maybe it's gonna be a smooth lead. Well, then you need to go down to the filters, maybe be not so aggressive on the effects. And if you want an aggressive lead, well, you know, you use something a little bit more aggressive. This is what the shape it's giving us. And then you just, you take it to the effects. Now, still going to be uh, maintain this on uh, on poly, but what I want to do, I want to go up in Portamento. So I'm going to go up in Portamento. And as soon as I do so, you know, I'm around like, you know, 40%, 35, let's say. So that's what I want. Right, so I want something like that. Maybe I'm doing a little bit too much on this shape. But I believe it sounds good. Now, the thing is that it sounds super dry. It sounds just way too dry. And before I do that, I want to go, before we go to the effects, I'm going to go to the pitch and uh, we want to do a little bit of detuning. In this case, I'm going to do again a little bit, just a little bit, uh, like 10%. And then I'm going to go up in rate. Now, the thing is that by default, uh, the XY controller is controlling the intensity. So as soon as I as you go up, you get the vibrato. So you might be playing. Right? And you go up and you get that natural vibrato. So depends on the intensity you need to, uh, when, you're, uh, when you're playing, you know, your track, uh, you need to set your rate. And I believe that, you know, that rate is fine. 
So I'm gonna start uh, with the effects. I'm gonna go all the way up to the mod effect and uh, I'm gonna make sure that this is on. And we need to add, a, I don't know, let's add a course. You know, it feels like this uh, lead might use a course and uh, by default it's gonna be the stereo. So we should be getting something already as soon as we play it. <laughs> There you go, that's just the chorus. Now, you need to, again, check your portamento. Uh, I'm gonna go down a little bit. All right, so I feel that's fine. That's like 40% on the portamento. The portamento. It's not too aggressive, uh, you know, for what we are doing. Uh, let's do a little bit more. I'm gonna go to the delay. I'm gonna do a ping pong. All right, so it's ping pong. And as soon as they play it, it's gonna go really crazy. Now, uh, depends on what you want to do. You want more feedback. In this case, I do want more feedback. And I'm gonna keep the time around 50%. You need to, again, adjust it to whatever it is that you're doing. But it's way too in your face. So I'm gonna do shift and go down in the dry and the wet. And I'm gonna really go down. Let's see how it sounds. Still way too much. I'm gonna do less. But I can like it. I'm gonna go less on this one, on this also later. If I go all the way down. You know, we are missing a lot, so I'm gonna stay right there. We are losing that grit. Right, so I feel that's fine. Maybe we can even do a little bit less of, uh, you know, delay. And now I'm gonna go to the reverb and then go to a hall. Go to hall. Let's see if I can find it. It's always the first one. I don't know. Every time I go to a reverb, I'm already standing in a hall, on the hall, and I just, you know, start searching for hall, and I was already there. So, you know, that uh, sometimes happens. So, that's the hall. I'm gonna go time, uh, maybe 40, 40% 40 right there. Maybe the depth is gonna be a little bit less than, you know, again, pretty much the same value, 40, less than 50. Right? So we get that, you know, Snoop Dogg. I don't want to name the track. You know, the Snoop Dogg track. Uh, I don't want to name the track. And I'm, I don't want to name the, whatever it is I'm playing. I changed it just a little bit. Uh, so you, you know, I, I don't get a red flag on YouTube. But I want, you know, that, that vibe. So you go up on the X on the Y on the Y and you get that this natural vibrato. All right, so I'm gonna save it right there. This is gonna go to you. So let's move on to the next lead. Okay, so let's break it down. Remember to start from an initial patch that is going to sound like this. Okay, so let's take care of the oscillators first. Uh, the oscillator number one, I want to use a square. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do right here, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way down, and I'm just gonna go crazy. All the way down on the, on the square, and on this one I'm gonna do a saw, and I'm gonna go all the way up. So yeah, again, I'm gonna go crazy, I have no idea. So we get something like that in the square, but then we get the higher pitch of the saw. And sometimes, you know, you need to be creative. You need to say, okay, uh, you know what? F it, I'm gonna do all the way up and all the way down and see what happens. Sometimes you just need to, like going, maybe I'm gonna go oh, shape. Eh, no, I don't like it. So I'm gonna go down and there you go. You know, if you don't like it, just you don't like it. So, right, so this one, I'm gonna keep it up. <laughs> This one, the second one. Now, the second one, I'm gonna, instead of going all the way up, I'm gonna keep it around there. I want more of this and less of this. You know, less of the second one. Now, okay, so let's go to the multi-engine. And I guess I'm gonna be using 
one of my favorites, which is gonna be... Oh, I made a mistake right there. You know what? Let's go to unison. Why not? And let's do a little bit of detune. Right now, it's, this is the noise. There we go. A little bit of spread on the unison. Let's go to the multi-engine. I'm gonna go up. And this one, I'm gonna use the one I like it, I like the most, which is gonna be the Decay. And I like the uh, Decay. And where's the other one? The Fat. I love the Fat. And I love the Decay. And I'm gonna be using the Decay number one. Now, I want to make sure, I'm gonna go there, and, uh, you know, to the Ed mode. And I want to double check the multi -oct octave, you know, on which range we are. If I, you know, that's how it sounds, you know, that's the decay. Let me just go down on the VCOs. I love it, that's the decay. Right. So, let's go up in shape. It's gonna go crank here. Uh, I'm gonna stay right there at 25%, something like that. Maybe a little bit less, just 23, let's say. Now, this is how it sounds, let's go an octave down with the other ones and this one all the way up, let's see Nope I'm gonna keep it an 8 You know what? I like it, it's not so bad, so I'm gonna go uh, to exit and uh, let's see what we can do with the, uh, you know, with the rest of the parts Right, so, let's see Let's see, going up, and it's super loud. Um, I'm gonna go down. But it's just, it's chopping uh, all the magic, so I'm gonna keep the filter, you know, almost up. And I'm gonna, not gonna use anything else. If I go to resonance, is this way too much? Maybe not. You know, I want, I like this, so I'm just gonna keep it. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of release, all the way up on the D, on the uh, sustain, because it's a lead. And I'm gonna do a little bit of attack, uh, just like that. I mean, it's weird, I like it. Let's go drive, let's see how, how it sounds. I don't, I don't think it needs it, that it needs the drive. Oh, you know what? No, it's too much. Now I would do the drive, and I would. I'm just gonna be honest. I would use the drive if on this synthesizer we had an EQ, so I can control a little bit of the lows. Because right now, since we have lows, we are using the lows of this one. This one is just bringing everything up. So I don't. I don't like this. You know, if I had an EQ and I could control it a little bit better. I would, you know, use the drive for sure. And in this case, I'm just gonna leave it out. Let's do the following. I'm gonna do a little bit of int, and I want to detune the pitch. Now, a little bit, we're gonna do like, I don't know, five? Almost unnoticeable. I'm gonna stay on the triangle, and I'm gonna use the normal, but I'm gonna go up in rate. Now, we cannot hear this, because it's super slow, super small. But if I go up, we can hear this. But remember that by default, this one is tied to the XY control and we can change it manually. But if I go up now... Right? And I, you know, and we did this randomly. This is, you know, it's just proof that you can just, you know, go crazy, just try things, you know, and uh, just try, try different things. It doesn't matter how crazy uh, they look, like going all the way up and all the way down. And then you just decide, if you don't like it, you just do something else. Right, so I'm gonna go to... Let's make it bigger. Why not? Let's, why not? Let's do a course, an ensemble, uh, a course, let's see... Are we doing reverb? Yeah, we was, was one. Uh, I went it off. So for now, and I'm gonna do the ensemble. Nope, I'm gonna do the chorus. I like the chorus a little bit better. You know, the ensemble is not that bad, but the thing is, this is maybe way too big. I'll go, let me go here. No, I'm gonna leave the chorus. 
Alright, so course, 50% and then 50% right there. And I believe that this is done. The only thing we need is maybe a little bit of portamento. I'm gonna add a little bit of portamento, like, uh, like 10 or 5, just very little. <laughs> And what maybe we need to do, maybe add a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb. Maybe we don't even need the uh, delay. I'm gonna go reverb on and uh, let's do a haul, just something normal. Because if we go way too crazy, this is just, you know, super loud already. I'm gonna go to a haul and I'm gonna stay right there in the, uh, you know, in the, the middle. Maybe a little bit down here, a little bit down there and just less mix. Yeah, less. Just a little bit less mix. Now, I'm just a little bit hard to, you know, play all this. I believe we are pretty much done. Just for fun, I'm gonna go to a delay and turn it on. And we are in mono? Oh, okay. Delay on. It was weird. I'm gonna go up and do a ping pong. Why not? Yeah. So... Well... Okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna go up. On the feedback, maybe a little bit less on the feedback. Because the lead. Alright, and I'm gonna go down on the dry and the wet. Remember, we do this by holding the shift. It's just in the background. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna be my lead. Yeah, okay, so that's that's the patch. I can I kinda like it. So I'm gonna just save it and uh remember to uh download the patch. You have the link right there at the bottom. Now uh, the takeaway on this is that you can go random just like I said before and get something cool. You know, just try different things. It doesn't matter how crazy they sound, just try them. Try it, right? It's part of the experimentation. And this is why uh, you know why I'm recording all of this. So you can practice with me. I just built a patch right here in front of you, out of nothing, just you know, improvising and just uh, listening, uh, just using my ears. So you can do the same. Well, this is the episode number six. If you follow all the episodes, by this uh, point, at this point, you created a lot of patches with me. You do have the experience of, you know, uh, just create different things. Maybe go to other patches that, you know, from other developers or, you know, designers, whatever, and uh, see what they did and try, try to replicate it, try to imitate, or try to, you know, to do something like that. And don't be afraid of going crazy or maybe use a, the multi-engine and go crazy with the multi-engine. Okay, so we are done. So uh, hopefully you liked all of this. And uh, remember, you can download the patches right there at the bottom. At this point, I, be I believe that you already know that. So if you liked all of this, remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee, you of course you can. Go to the links at the description and you have links for PayPal, you have Patreon, and you have YouTube. Thanks.